Mr. Humphrey, if your wife were to describe you as a candy bar, which candy bar would it be? Either a hero, a whatchamacallit, a zero, or a Mr. Good Bar. <laughs> now this is your wife describing you, not, not you describing <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I would have to say a Mr. Goodbar. Mr. Humphrey said a Mr. Goodbar. Your answer is Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> All righty, if you, yes, you place it. Mm -hmm. John, which candy bar would you be described as by your wife? A hero, a zero, a whatchamacallit, or a Mr. Goodbar? I say Mr. Goodbar. You're going to say Mr. Goodbar too. What'd you say, Ruther? <laughs> a whatchamacallit. <laughs> Obviously, you ain't seen that whatchamacallit either. Because <laughs> it's, it's a real candy bar named whatchamacallit. It's good, too. Okay. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, talk to me. Which one would you be? Thank you. Mr. Goodball. Mr. Goodball. All right. Hey. All right, now. <laughs> talk to me. Mr. Goodball. Mr. Goodball. Mr. Goodball, it is. Okay, all right, all right. Everybody's on the board almost. Um, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> all right, next question. And this is a serious one here now. If you were at a bachelor party, I mean, if you were at a, um, <clears throat> a bachelor's dinner and y'all are all sitting around and, and, and they said, what one piece of advice would you give me, Mr. Humphrey, after eight years of marriage, what one piece of advice would you give me for my wife? What, what, what piece of advice would you give that bridegroom to be, the one that's about to come down the aisle? What would you say to him? One piece of advice. Continue to date. Mr. Humphrey said, continue to date. <laughs> you mean each other, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tara, excuse me just a second. Can I get, can I get this mic? I'll go and hold your answer up. Hold your, hold your, hold your, hold your answer. So just pray. Okay. Now, Tara, I must know why, pray tell, don't pass this down. I can use my. Why did you just bust out laughing when he said that? We'll come back to Tara. Okay. <laughs> John, what piece of advice would you give to a new bridegroom? He about to walk down the aisle. Stay true to your wife. Stay true to your wife. These are some good answers that he tells us to give, aren't they? Yeah. Just wonderful. Just yes, wonderful. What did you say? I started to say that, but... Say prayer for. She said, I started to say that. Oh. Uh... Okay, Mr. Brooks, talk to you. Just say yes. <laughs> That's my answer too. <laughs> you know, those are, my, those are my two favorite words too. <clears throat> Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> what would your piece of advice be to that new bridegroom who's about to get married? He's about to say I do tomorrow. Don't do it. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. <laughs> Is that the answer? Don't do it. Now they've been married seven and a half years. That's your answer for real? Don't do it. <laughs> 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 it's going to be romantical in some houses tonight. <laughs> Let me see. I would say uh, he was just joking. He was just joking. Uh, yeah. She's gonna run you over that motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say go with whatever she says. 
Go, whatever she says, yeah, go with it. Whatever she says, go with it. She said, pray. Oh. <laughs> That's what she, that's, who's going to be doing the praying now? You or her? <laughs> Both of us now. <laughs> Our last and final question for this round. Oh. Good thinking, I'm free. Um, <clears throat> yeah. What piece of fruit would you use to describe your wife? Would she be a grapefruit? Would she be an apple? Would she be an orange or would she be a passion fruit? I most definitely have to say a grapefruit. <laughs> okay, why would you say that? What, what, what's your, what, is there a reason for that? Because you said it with, with conviction. You said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to definitely have to say I'm just telling you. That's his favorite fruit, baby. No, we don't even like grapefruit. Because most of the time, she takes no nonsense. Okay, that's what's up. Grapefruit takes no nonsense. <clears throat> Miss Humphrey. <laughs> she said a passion fruit. <laughs> it's going to be a grapefruit tonight. Pass that mic. <laughs> John, how would you describe your wife? Passion fruit, grapefruit, orange or apple. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Woo! Yes! Okay. All right, there we go. Uh huh. Uh, uh, Rich? Passion fruit. You said passion fruit, Ms. Brooks? Uh uh. She said apple. But he had the right answer. He knew, he knew what to say. <laughs> Don't fault the man. Don't fault the man. Okay, Ms. Wilson, <laughs> Mr. Wilson, <laughs> orange, apple, passion fruit, or grapefruit? And she got this look on his face, he better have the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, let me see. Uh, you can't look at him. <laughs> Can I get a half and half? Huh? No, no, sir. It's one piece of fruit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Uh... Man, this... <sighs> you can do it. It would have to be an apple. Have to be an apple? Yes. And why did you say an apple? Because she loves apples. She loves apples? Yes. <laughs> like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up your answer, please, Mrs. Wilson. Passion fruit. <laughs> I was told. Hold up your answer. <laughs> Passion fruit. <laughs> you thought about the alphabet. That would have been the answer. Go and give all the contestants a hand. Give me your, give me your cards. We have, oh, I'm sorry. Contestant number one with a whopping five points. And, and they're tied for second place with contestants two and four. And contestant number three, the uh, Brooks, they are leading the way with 10 points. Thanks so much. We're going to escort the wives out.